everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Big Sick. So The Big Sick is directed by Michael Showalter, and the film is written by Kumail Nanjiani and Emily V. Gordon. So The Big Sick tells the story of Kumail and Emily, how the two of them met each other and fell in love with each other. However, there are complications within their relationship when their cultures are clashing. And let's just say it leads to Kumail meeting Emily's parents for the first time and that's when Kumail and Emily's parents have to really get along with each other. So I went to the Big Sick just very interested. I liked the trailer, I liked the cast, and I really just want to see where the storyline would go down. I know this is based on Kumail's story and the cool thing is that Kumail and his wife Emily, they wrote this movie together and what I got is one of the best movies of the year. I, I'm gonna say it straight off the bat, I fell in love with The Big Sick. The Big Sick is truly a wonderful movie. I went to this movie hoping at the very least to like it. I really want to at least like the movie, but wow, this movie's incredible. I honestly was very very floored by the big sick now what i loved about the big sick is just how funny and how endearing it really is kumal nanjiani and emily gordon did such a tremendous job writing the script for this film within their script they made this movie just feel so natural. The things that happen in this film, the situations that take place within this film, feel so natural. It didn't feel forced or anything like that. I truly do think those two did a very good job. And it's really, honestly, interesting to see Kumail Nanjiani star in a movie that's based on his story. That rarely happens when you're telling a story on someone's life. But the fact that this happened to Kunmal Nanjiani, or at least some of it, I'm sure at least, and he got to star in it is really impressive. And the directing by Michael Showalter is really great here. He just brings such a relaxing style to The Big Sick. I don't know what it is about Michael's direction, but just the way he directs The Big Sick just feels so relaxing and it feels so smooth. There's not a single moment where I thought his direction was off. I thought his direction was always really great here. And speaking of Kumail Nanjiani, this guy is really amazing and I really want to see him in more stuff. And I know he's had stuff lately, like he was in Fist Fight earlier this year and he had a part in Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, uh, that massage scene, dear God. Uh, it was funny though, but it's really great to see him be the star because man, this guy commands the screen. Not only is he really great with the dramatic scenes and he really owns the dramatic scenes, but he is so funny. He had me laughing a lot. Kumal really is amazing here. I hope he does get um, some kind of recognition for his performance because it's very well deserved. And everyone else is honestly great. Starting off with Zoe Kazan. She is wonderful in this film. I thought Zoe Kazan just did a very great job of portraying Emily. And I have to say, as far as the romance goes for Kumel and Emily, they really interacted with each other so, so well. Not everything was absolute perfection. They did show the conflicts that they did have in the romance because of Kumel's family, his family's expectations of what they want him to do, his parents really. Um, I would say specifically his mom of all people really expects him to do certain things like meeting up with random Pakistan girls and that could get in the way of their relationship which I did really appreciate that they didn't hold back as far as that goes but I did buy into the fact that these two truly do love each other and just their chemistry is great and both the actors in general just act so well together. Now Ray Romano he is 
he's at his A game here. And it's so great to see Ray Romano in a film that isn't the freaking Ice Age franchise. I've been waiting for the day I could see Ray Romano in a live action movie, let alone actually see him in a really good or at this point great movie and it's so refreshing ray romano please make more movies because you are truly amazing here just like with kumail dramatically he's great in the dramatic scenes but when the comedy hits my goodness ray romano kills it with the comedy and he just feels so natural here and holly hunter as emily's mother she's really great in this film too as far as everyone else they were all really great all the actors that played kumal's family from kumal's parents to kumal's brother everyone there was really great kumal's brother also made me laugh too i really liked him and i thought this movie did a very good job of of showing Kumal's struggles because you could tell Kumal just wants to have a good life here in America but you have his family having these expectations really his mother like I said of all people she's the one that expects him to date this Pakistan girl and wants him to become a doctor um, you know like the highest of all jobs for him to be very successful and that's not the life that Kumal wants he has to deal with that on his hands plus he has to deal with Emily's parents so Kumal has all of these struggles in his live and he just wants to please people but he learns that you can't really please everyone and I can relate to something like that like I was someone that uh, just wanted to please everybody but you realize when you get older not everyone is gonna be pleased with you and you just have to really accept that reality you know um, not everyone is gonna really be happy with you but Sometimes it's all about what you want rather than what they want and what makes you happy rather than what makes them happy. And The Big Sick, I think as far as that goes, really explored that so well and I have to really appreciate the movie for that. As far as the cinematography goes, the cinematography does look absolutely beautiful and there were honestly moments where I found myself getting quite choked up during the dramatic scenes because of just how well written they are. But the other thing I have to give the Big Sick credit for is it never gets to the point where it gets overly serious. Like the film could get overly serious, but because it has comedy to really line up the mood, it never goes into that overly serious category. It does get serious, definitely, but I never really feel like it gets overly serious because you'll have a comedic bit that'll come in to lighten up the mood so you don't feel like you're watching such a depressing movie 24-7 and I think that was a very smart decision. You still have a smile on your face even when something sad is happening. There's a really great balance when the film switches from being dramatic to comedic. It doesn't feel out of place whatsoever. Ever. The balance of comedy, drama, romance, all of that came together very well. And for a movie that's really two hours long, I really was so interested. I found myself just so engaged for the majority of the running time. This is a very well paced movie for two hours long. It didn't have to be anything less or more. And as far as flaws do go with the big sick, I will say just the first like I'm gonna say maybe like the first 20 minutes of the film did start off a little bit rough and I will say it is a little bit draggy within that first 20 minutes that's where I will say the pacing was a little bit 
slow was when the movie was starting. I did think how Kumail and Emily's romance, even though I bought into the romance, it was pretty rushed. And I do think editing wise, it was a little bit choppy too within that first 20 minutes. However, honestly, after that first 20 minutes, I really did not have a single problem with this movie. It's really within the first 20 minutes where I did have those issues. And that's really it. Overall, the Big Sick is truly a phenomenal movie. This movie moved me. It made me laugh. It made me tear up. It really made me care for these characters. How Kumail and Emily's parents had to get along with each other. That was so well written. There were plenty of funny moments, but also very sincere moments that come along with that. Kumail and Emily have such wonderful chemistry. This movie is also one of the funniest movies of the year. I need to say that right now because so many moments in this film had me dying of laughter. This is one of the best written movies for sure. It's just one of those movies that puts a big smile on my face. It felt so natural throughout. It didn't feel forced to me. The dialogue felt natural. Just the overall storytelling felt natural. And I truly did find myself just so engaged in Kumail's story. And I am going to give The Big Sick four out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Big Sick. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!